Let us understand interfacing of LCD with LPC2148. Watch the video of basic LCD interfacing before watching this. In that video, the LCD pins and interfacing of LCD with microcontroller is explained. Go through the interfacing diagram of 16 by 2 LCD interfaced with LPC2148. Here the pins, port pins P0.8 to P0.15 are used to connect the data lines D0 to D7 of LCD. P0.7 is connected to enable terminal of LCD. P0.6 is connected to read-write terminal of LCD. P0.5 is connected to RS terminal that is register select terminal of this LCD. When RS terminal is 0, command register is selected and when RS terminal is 1, data register is selected. When R slash W terminal is at logic 1, then operation is read and when R slash W terminal is logic 0, we can write data or command in the data and command register of LCD. To latch a data on data lines, enable signal should be high to low. So this is the interfacing diagram. Now let us understand the embedded C program to interface this LCD and display a string on this LCD. So we have to include uh, this include file that is include lpc214x.h and we'll write a delay function. So to this delay function, we'll pass the value and we'll use here variable loops. So the, through main program or through other function, we'll pass some value and this for loop will be executed uh, up to that value. So it will generate a delay and this delay program we can use in other programs. Now first next function we'll write is for enable pin. So high to low signal should be transmitted on enable pin to latch a data or command on data lines. So for that we'll write this function white toggle underscore en. This is the name of this function which is used to write uh, send high to low pulse on enable terminal. So enable pin is P0.7 as per our interfacing diagram. So first we will send logic 1 at this particular pin. So to make this P0.71 we will use IO0 set register and P0.7 pin will be at logic 1. So 80H will be stored in IO set register. After that we will call a delay of 1000 value. This value will be passed to the delay program. So after this delay, we will uh, switch this enable pin to logic 0. So we are sending high to low pulse. So to send a logic 0 at P0.7, we have to use clear register. So we are using here IO0 CLR register and uh, we are sending or writing logic 0 at enable pin P0.7. So that's why we have initialized clear register with value 80. So this function we can call whenever we want to send enable signal on enable terminal. The next function is to write a command in command register of LCD. So this function name we have used here is lcd underscore cmd and will pass the command from main program to this command function. So variable we use here is lcd cmd. So lcd cmd variable will be passed from main program that is command uh, will be passed from main program to this uh, command function lcd cmd function. So for command this RS terminal that is pin P0.5 should be 0. 
when rs terminal is 0 command register is selected so to write a 0 at p0.5 terminal will use clear register so io0 clr register will use and p0.5 terminal of uh, this particular register is set to 1 so that that particular pin uh, will be 0 at logic 0 the next is we want to send a write signal because we are writing a data so to send a write signal this r slash w pin should be at logic 0 and as per interfacing diagram p0.6 is used uh, as a r slash w pin so to clear this p0.6 again we'll use here clear register and logic 1 will be written at p0.6 so 40 uh, will be stored in IO0 clear register. Now, whatever command we want to write, that will uh, write in this variable LCD CMD. Now, since our database is not starting from P0.0, .0, but data line starts from P0.8 to P0.15. So, uh, whatever command we want to write, that we have to shift in left direction by 8 bit so that this data or command which we want to write will start now from p0.8 to p0.15 so we have to shift this data 8 bit in left direction because we are using p0.8 to p0.15 as a data line so every time whenever we want to write a data on data line we have to use this shift operation shift left by 8 bit because we are not using lsb pins so whatever data uh, we are sending to this command register suppose that data is as an example i am uh, considering only four bits here so suppose this data we want to write in command register that means we want to set this two bits and we want to clear this two bits so to set this two bits uh, we have to store this data in set register and we have to write here one so for that we are using here io0 set register so whatever bits are one in lcd command that will be set to one or one will be written for that bit but to write 0 for this remaining bits, we have to use clear register. And in clear register, this bit we have to use as a logic 1. So that this particular bits will be clear. So for that, we are using IO0 clear register. But here we have used a complement operation. That means this number will complement. So we'll get a logic 1 at this position and these bits will be clear. So in LPC2148, whenever you want to write a data, we have to use both register io0 set register and io0 clear register so io0 set register will write logic 1 at particular bit position and io0 clear register will write 0 at particular bit position the next after uh, placing data on data bus we have to latch this data to latch this data we are using enable function toggle enable function so we'll call that function and this will end this command function so whenever we want to write a command we'll call this command function in a main program the next function is data function when we want to write a data that is ascii value of character which we want to display on lcd that should be written in uh, data register of lcd so to write that data we'll use lcd data function so here for data function the rs uh, terminal should be at logic 1 so rs terminal is p0.5 and to set this p0.5 terminal 1 
will use your IO0 set register and 20 data should be written in set register so that P0.5 terminal will be at logic 1 and now data register of LCD is selected. IO0 clear register again the same register will use to write logic 0 to R slash W bar pin so that we can perform a write operation. The next is here in this function LCD data variable uh, we are using uh, this value will be passed to this function through main program. So ASCII value of character will be assigned to LCD data variable and this we want to place on data bus. So we are using here set register whatever data is there that we have to shift in left direction by 8 bit and to set the other remaining bits will complement this data and then we'll shift it by 8 bits in left direction and we'll store it in clear register to clear the remaining bits. So after that we have to latch this data on data bus. So for that we'll call the toggle enable function. So this ends the data function. Now we'll use LCD initialization function. So just to initialize LCD, we are sending some command. So that will write in this function. So here pin cell register is used so that we can select the functionality of pins. So we want to use all these pins as a general purpose IO pin. So for that in pin cell zero register, we have to store logic zero for all these pins. By default also logic 0 is stored in pin cell 0 register. So actually no need to initialize this register. Then we will select the direction of pins which we are using. All pins are uh, used as a output pins. So we are using port pin from P0.5. So P0.5, P0.6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All these pins we are using to interface LED and all pins we are using as an output pin. So we will store here one for each of this pin and if you convert into hex you will get FFE0. So that will store in direction register. So we are using direction of all these pins as an output pin. We will call a delay and then we call a LCD command. So we are writing a command 01 in command register. 01 command is used to clear a display. The delay is called here after writing a 1 command. The next command is 0x38 that is to select the 16 by 2 LCD an 8-bit mode of LCD. So we'll call a command function to write this command and then uh, call a delay function. Now in main program, first we'll declare a string which we want to display on LCD. So the here string is stored in array. So unsigned character string array is initialized and the string uh, characters are written in single quote. The other variables if we want need that these variables are declared here i and data 1. So first we will call initialization function lcd initialization. So all uh, parameters are initialized here and we are sending command also. Again here the clear lcd command is uh, used. No need to use this command without that also the string will be displayed properly. So again clear display is called here. Now the next command is to select the address of uh, LCD character. So here 80 is the address of first character uh, on first row of LCD. So we will start displaying this string from the first character position on first row of LCD. We can change this address. Uh, to display this string at other position. We can uh, display string on second row also. That is already uh, discussed in basic LCD interfacing video. 
then since uh, in our string the four characters are there so we'll read ascii value of one character at a time and we'll store that ascii value in data one variable so for that for loop is used here so for loop uh, we'll read a four character so i start from zero and it is less than or equal to three i plus plus read the one character ascii value of one character at a time and uh, assign it to variable data1 this data1 variable will pass to data function lcd data function so ascii value of character will pass to data function so ascii value will be written in data register and that particular letter will be displayed on lcd so this is the for loop and just to stop this program we'll use here while one semicolon and this is the end of the program now if you want to display any other string you can change this string as per the number of characters used in the string you can change this value in for loop and you can write and execute this program